Okay. Um, so let's check this reaction out. Uh, this um, reaction was first noticed actually by Walden, uh, a chemist a long time ago. Uh, it's called the Walden inversion. So when uh, you take um, maleic acid here and add PCL5 to it, phosphorus pentachloride, and ether, of course, is just the solvent. Um, you're going to get a product that has the substituent here. This one's going forward, right? The substituent you'll find goes backwards, okay? So that implies that there was a backside attack at the last step, okay? So everybody knows the product, so I want you to write it down on your own, okay? So hopefully you can see that chlorine is going, coming, the nucleophile itself is coming in from the back side. Okay? So that last step is an SN2 reaction. So let's go ahead and draw the mechanism of this reaction real quick, the Walden inversion. Or the first step of the Walden inversion. And this is what I was saying earlier. Whenever you have um, atoms that are uh, third uh, period and below, right, they can expand their valence. So when you're looking at phosphorus here, probably with cross sides being like, wait a second, that has more than eight electrons in it, it's okay because it's a bigger atom. It can actually hold more than eight electrons. For our case, it's good for us to just remember PCL5, so we can do this mechanism. Okay, so what's going to happen here is actually the um, OH on the, uh, the alcohol is more nucleophilic than the OH on the carboxylic acids. So um, PCL5 actually reacts selectively with the alcohol um, hydroxyl group as opposed to either of the carboxylic acid hydroxyl groups, okay? So in that case, the, the alcohol oxygen is re reacting as the nucleophile with the phosphorus of PCL5 being the electrophile in this particular instance, okay? We're gonna kick off one of those chlorine atoms, so I'll just show that mechanism. So like that. Is everybody okay with what we've just done? Yes. Okay. And remember, our final product's gonna be this. I'm not showing the other portion of it, just the organic one. Okay. So try to write the product on your own before you see me finish it and see if you got it right. And that way you can identify where your problems might lie. Is that what you got? You might not have finished it, but the core part of it. Yeah. Okay, good. And here's the SN2 reaction, okay? This is the nucleophile. Remember, in an SN2, we need the nucleophile and electrophile, and the nucleophile is going to come in from where? The, the back side, right? So it's going to be opposite of the stereochemistry that you see right now. So since that O is coming towards us, the chlorine is going to be going away from us. So in order to show that, it's just, we've shown an SN2 reaction before, here it is, just that classical SN2 reaction. Okay. 
I should have asked you to write it first. Did you write it first? Did you get it right? Good job. I should have known that y'all would have written it first. That's good. I'm proud of you for taking that initiative. And then what did we get as our product? So we know what the organic product is, of course. The electrophilic carbon is actually that carbon there. And then hopefully you can see, right, we get that what we call inversion of configuration at that stereo center there, the stereo center. because it was pointing forward, now it's pointing back. And then, of course, I could see it. Some people looking at me, well, where are the other atoms? Yeah, well, we're not as interested in them. Because that's not our organic stuff. the other part. Okay. Any questions on this thing? Okay. This is the first step of that Walden cycle or Walden inversion we were talking about. 